today I'm going to be showing you how to create this Snapchat inspired galaxy look and Snapchat inspired looks aren't normally my thing but I found this look on Snapchat and I absolutely loved it. I think it was only there for like a day but it was honestly so cool and I honestly love it. So if you want to see how I did this Snapchat inspired look, it doesn't look exactly the same obviously if it is inspired by it. If you want to see how I did this Halloween look and it's not scary but I really like it. So I really hope you enjoy this video and if you want to see how I did this look then carry on watching. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my Colorworks palette which I used in my previous video which is my mermaid tutorial if you want to check that out I will link that down below. And I'm going to go in with a lot of blue and a lot of purple. We're going to go with a lot of purple and we're going to go, and go with a nice purple eye look. So what I'm going to do is I normally start off with a white base so I'm just going to use my fingers because it's more dense and we're going to be using this white colour here. Just a white shimmery colour, just swirl that in there and then we're just going to apply that to my lid. As you can see there's a lot of purple and a lot of stuff going on around my eyes. I'm going to get my face shadow brush, <laughs> bit dirty, and I'm going to be using, hmm, right let's start off with some light purple. So we're going to use this light purple here and we're going to put that all around my eye. Actually that's not working, we're going to use my finger again. I'm going to put it on top of the lid so it's like a white purple shimmer and then I'm going to put it all around my eye. Hopefully this will turn out quite good. I'm basically just going to put it all around my eye so it's kind of like a mask. using my setting brush I'm just going to blend that in okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my purple again and just intensify that even more so it kind of looks like a triangle like that so it's like highlighting my cheekbones as well so it kind of looks like a superhero mask right now <laughs> or I've got really bad bags <laughs> now let's go straight in with the dark purple which is this one here so it's kind of like a really ultraviolet purple what we're going to do is I'm going to go in the crease and just intensify that. What I might do is I might just try this dark pink, like a hot pink. I'm going to bring that pink underneath my eye and then just bring it round. And then I'm just going to blend that out. Actually, let's add a bit of silver and see what that does. And then I'm going to get this white, this bright pink and this white and I'm going to go underneath my eyebrows again. But this is so spread around so what i'm going to do now is because it's kind of all collected in one place i'm going to see if i can blotch a bit of blue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this blue color here and i'm going to kind of speckle bits of blue around okay there's a lot of contouring going on here so what i'm going to do is highlight my nose i'm going to use the white color again and there's a lot of white going around here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go heavy with the white and I'm going to really go for it. Go on my nose, across here. And then hopefully it will look a bit more spacey in a minute. I'm going to use my Body Shop white eyeshadow as well and just intensify that white. Now we're going to make it look more like a galaxy and we're going to put lots and lots of sparkly stars on my face. A white eyeliner and I also have some white face paint so I'm going to try with the white face paint first. Actually let's try with the white pencil and we're going to try and draw on some stars. Okay that is not coming up at all. Right let's try with some white face paint then. Gonna blob a bit on the back of my hand. Oh, it's like acrylic paint. My angle brush, and we're just going to that. So it looks like a star. There we go, that looks a bit better. I'm gonna use a dotting tool, which I'm gonna use for my nail art, but you can also use a pin like this. Is I'm going to use a dotting tool, and I'm just gonna do some dots so it looks like the stars. And in the picture you can see that it's kind of like connecting so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and connect them together so they kind of look like um, the stars. Fine uh, nail that brush but you can kind of use any brush you like and I'm going to connect these up. What I might do is I might add a bit of glitter but I think I'll do the stars first so we just I'm 
There's some going over the top here as well, so I might. What I was thinking is you could probably do purple above here as well, but I'm only going with the Snapchat filter, like what it looks like. There we go, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my dotting tool again and I'm going to connect these up. It's a map of the stars, that's what it is. I was trying to think of what it was called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the body glitter, the bottle, body glow, and some white glitter, and we're just going to apply it underneath the silver bits. So because it's really scattered around on the picture, and there's a lot of goings on. Dot that around here, and underneath my eye, my finger in the glitter, and then I'm just going to go underneath here. This is basically white glitter, so as you can see it's not really really intense, but it is quite intense. So to make my eyes stand out a bit more, I'm going to be using this dark purple and just going on the top of my eye and just lining my eye. And I don't really do this very like professionally, I just kind of do whatever feels natural. There we go. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using pink lipstick and a silver lipstick and I'm going to do layer these. I'm going to put this one on first and then I'm going to put this one on afterwards. So as you can see, it's very, very pink. So what I need to do is add the silver so it's kind of muted it down. So it's more like the Snapchat filter. And I think that's it. So thank you for watching guys. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what you guys are dressing up as for Halloween. And tell me what you guys think of this video. I would really appreciate it. And if you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys all have a great Halloween. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Love you all. Yeah.